Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our Q&A with Dr. K. Welcome, Dr. Clapper. Hi there, Annie. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's get started with the questions. Okay, today our viewer has asked, does too much fiber impair nutrient absorption since food moves faster through the GI tract? Fascinating question. Our, our question askers are getting very sophisticated. And this has been a concern over the years. There's no question that a diet based on whole plant foods obviously puts a larger fiber load going through the intestines, which is what we are designed to consume. Our, you know, always go back to uh, Mother Nature's original designs. And as we're speaking right now out in the jungles of uh, the rainforests of Rwanda on the slopes of Kilimanjaro, there are colonies of mountain gorillas. And they are sitting in the midst of this greenery and just shoveling leaves and fruits and, and uh, plant material into their mouths all day. They're eating a high fiber diet. Uh, and they clearly have no problem developing tremendous uh, uh, musculature and healthy bodies and strong bones uh, from this plant-based food stream and certainly moves to their intestines. The gorilla researchers uh, say these animals uh, pass large bulky stools several times a day. Uh, and yeah, it's no real signs of mineral deficiency. And the same thing with us, I believe, as well. When we do studies, we actually check the level of people, vitamins, minerals, et cetera, uh, even along long-term vegans. Uh, they don't seem to be shortchanged of any significant nutrients. Now, that said, because plant foods, especially uh, I think among the cruciferous vegetables, uh, there is a special type of carbohydrate called phytic acid, P-H-Y-T-I-C. And it is notorious for binding uh, zinc and uh, other minerals. Uh, and, uh, and so that I think is where a lot of this concern came from. But, but a couple of things, uh, it, it, you may see that that's a theoretical concern, but in the real world, there's a couple of mitigating factors. One, uh, and as you've probably heard me say many times, uh, it, a lot depends on how finely that leaf of kale or broccoli or carrot uh, is broken up. Uh, uh, in other words, chew your food to a cream. You know, we say that many times, put a fork full of salad in your mouth, put the fork down, make salad puree in your mouth. You want to break up those cell walls as much as possible and expose uh, the vitamins and minerals inside the cells of the kale plant to your digestive enzymes, to your absorption mechanisms. Uh, and if you do that, then the effect of the fiber uh, is, is minimalized and that the small intestine that actually does the nutrient absorption is 22 feet long. It takes six, eight hours for the uh, for a finely chewed uh, piece of, um, of kale or carrot uh, to work its way through those 22 feet of intestines. Uh, and you'll absorb the, the nutrients that you really need. The second, along with really chewing things well, and again, we're yeah, and I don't want to brush over that because in today's high powered, high speed world, you know, often oh, we're late for a meeting, you know, you shovel the food into two chews, boom, down it goes, and and chunks of unchewed greens and yellow veggies go down and they aren't well chewed. And and all the nutrients in that high fiber chunk of, of unchewed kale does go all the way through and pass out in the stool unabsorbed. So it's it's not uh, it's not a negligible factor. It just means slow down and chew your food to get the nutrients out of it, so the fiber doesn't rob you in that way. But the second is that assuming you're eating a whole food plant based diet, the fiber mix is constantly changing. You're, there's different vegetables in the salad. There's different vegetables in the soup. There's the different sauces on the pasta. There's uh, there's different uh, quinoa one night, rice another, uh, and uh, and all of these different plant materials have different abilities to either bind minerals or release them. And because it's a constantly changing mixture and day after day, meal after meal of the soups and the salads and the greens and the veggies, um, the amount of ornery fiber that's just latching onto your minerals is uh, really minimized. 
and the body adapts. It's true, things move through faster, and people often on this kind of diet have two, like the gorillas, they have two, three generous sized bowel movements a day. But again, your intestines are so efficient. Uh, and at nighttime, while you're sleeping, as the uh, the stool stream slows down, that that allows extra time for absorption. And uh, certainly, the long-term vegans are not uh, notorious for showing mineral deficiencies. So, by and large, if you slow down, chew your foods well, and keep uh, mix, changing the mix of the foods that are going down there, uh, I think the uh, uh, the the benefits of the fiber. The, the the efficiency that it lets your intestines work at and and the fiber and the uh, the resistant starches and the legumes uh, give the bacteria in your colon the the nutrients they need to produce the short chain fatty acids that make for a healthy colon wall. There's so many benefits to a high fiber diet that uh, you should not be deterred uh, by the speed at which it goes through the GI tract. It's not moving that fast. And uh, again, ask any gorilla. It's uh, as long as you chew your food well, uh, you shouldn't wind up with any mineral deficiency. So enjoy your rice and beans and greens and, and chew your food like your mother told you. Okay, that's some great information. So thank you for clearing that up. Thank you to everyone for tuning in today. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.